Japanese engineering troops who have been serving at the United Nations mission in South Sudan since early 2012 have begun their drawdown from the country. The first batch of 68 Japanese troops left the country on April 17th after a brief ceremony in South Sudan's capital, Juba. The troops mainly deployed to the tribal country as engineers. While in the country, the Japanese contingents rotated every six months and their 11th rotation is the last to serve in South Sudan. Some of the main activities of the 11th Japanese contingent include building and maintaining facilities at the UN compounds, maintaining roads in the city of Juba, and enhancing a football ground of the University of Juba. Besides, this contingent also interacted with the people of South Sudan, providing training courses on self-defense for women, working with local karate masters, and conducting training sessions at a tertiary school in the capital, Juba. The tertiary school, the multi-service training center, teaches various skill courses. Recently, on April 8th, the Japanese conducted training targeting South Sudanese trainers on the repairs of generators and air conditioners. Japanese contingent commander, Colonel Yoshiro Tanaka, believes that technology is very essential for the development of South Sudan. We believe that the technology is extremely important for the development of South Sudan and for the life of the South Sudanese people. And we are happy to give what we have as skills and know-how to the people of South Sudan. After showcasing our skills and know-how to the teachers at the multi-service training center, we are hoping that they can, in turn, teach as many people of South Sudan as possible. Joseph Lakutaban is one of the trainers who benefited from the training, and he says these short courses will benefit the entire country. Let me say the entire countries will benefit from this course because since the trainers, public service uh, uh, trainers got this skill and then anybody who is willing to attend these skills in the air condition, then they will get it here in the MTC. So let me say generally the use of South Sudan will benefit those who are willing. After more than five years of service to the United Nations mission in South Sudan and the people of South Sudan, the Japanese government has decided to withdraw their more than 400 engineering contingents by the end of May 2017.